Hello students, this is your SS teacher and today we will learn about roads and road safety chapter 10 page number 46 in your textbook uh, before we get into road safety let us first see what is a road okay now if you see in this page point number one here a road is a wide way between two places that has been paved to allow travel by vehicles or by foot now by reading this you understand that a road is a way okay that connects one place to the other where you can travel by vehicles or by foot examples of a road are given here in the form of pictures these are roads okay but these are the examples of a road now uh, point number two here there are two types of roads that is kacha road and paka road okay when you look here at be i mean picture number one here you see that this road is in black topping right which means that it is a baka road now when you look at picture number two here you see that this road is made of uh, it's just made of mud and uh, stones right so this road is an example of a kacha road both these pictures both these pictures are of a road okay that connects one place to the other but then again there are these two different types of roads that is kacha and paka picture number one here is paka road and picture number two here is a kacha road okay i hope you are clear with this now let us move on to road safety what is road safety okay you see this picture here this is again a picture of a road with uh, so many vehicles here and people walking on the road so when you find yourself in a crowded road like this or any kinds of road you must follow some rules okay some rules to keep you safe and to avoid accidents just uh, like we follow rules at school or at home we must also follow rules okay that are meant for our safety this is called uh, road safety rules okay a set of rules which you must follow when you are on the road so what are these rules we will see here okay yes now if you have opened your textbook you will find this okay this picture is taken from your textbooks all the rules of the road that is mentioned here we will discuss it one by one okay this is all these these rules from number one to seven let us discuss now what is the first rule that is given here number one rule use the footpath for walking what is a footpath you see here a boy walking right now this is a footpath okay whenever you are walking on the road you should always walk on the footpath a small path that is on the side of the road meant for walking okay so this is very important a rule number when always walk on the footpath what is rule number two number two cross the road only when the traffic is clear what does it mean what does traffic is clear mean okay so if you are about when you are about to cross a road you should cross only when the traffic is clear means when there is no vehicles coming from either side okay 
before you cross the road stand on the side of the road and first look to your right thank you first look to your right then to your left and again to your right only after that if there is no vehicles coming from either side of the road then only you should cross the road this is what it means okay rule number two cross the road only when the traffic is clear it means when no vehicles is coming from either side of the road now what is rule number three rule number three here cross the road only at the zebra crossing what does a zebra crossing mean what is a zebra crossing you see this picture here this is called a zebra crossing okay black and white stripes on the road okay so whenever you are crossing the road you should always cross the road by walking at the zebra crossing this is rule number four I mean rule number three now let us move on to rule number four walk do not run while <coughs> crossing the road okay whenever you are crossing the road you should remain calm okay you should remain calm and walk you shouldn't run while crossing the road because uh, when you are running you might fall down and get hurt right so you should never run while crossing the road always remain calm and walk while crossing the road number five rule number five do not play on or near the road okay again you see this picture here right a boy and a girl playing on the road you shouldn't do like this okay you should never ever play on or even near the road okay now what is number six number six follow the rules of traffic lights okay what is a traffic light what is a traffic light let's see here okay you see this red yellow and green light this is called a traffic light okay this is a traffic light meant for controlling the movement of vehicles on the road and what does all this color mean what does red mean what does yellow mean what does green mean okay so red means here stop red color on the traffic light means stop yellow means wait and green means go but you see in timapur you don't see traffic lights right we don't see traffic lights in timapur but you find traffic policemen isn't it traffic policemen so when there is when there is no traffic light you should obey the rules of the traffic policeman okay when the traffic policeman says stop you stop when the traffic policeman says go you go okay so when there is no traffic man i mean traffic light you obey the rules of the traffic police man okay coming to the rules number seven what is the last rule mentioned here number seven when you wait for a bus wait in a queue what what does a queue mean queue means you see these people standing in line is it so standing in line like this means a queue okay so whenever you are um, waiting for a bus or any other kinds of vehicles to uh, go to some other cities or towns you should always wait in queue and not rush okay do not rush to get on a bus or any kinds of vehicle okay always wait in queue while waiting for a bus 
so this is all about the rules of the road that we must follow okay and why do you think we should follow all these rules these rules are meant for our safety only okay our lives are very precious isn't it so in order to save our lives uh, we must follow all the rules that is mentioned here okay that is mentioned here all these rules to save our lives and to avoid any kinds of accidents okay when you follow all these rules you will be safe on the road now this is all about road safety and uh, i hope you are clear with all this i hope you are clear with what is a road a road is a way right that connects one place to the other examples are given here as i've uh, like i've shown before and then there are two types of roads what are they kacha road and paka road okay picture number one here is paka road and picture number two here is a kacha road okay and the rules remember all these rules okay remember all the rules that is mentioned here that we have discussed here and follow it follow the rules just like we follow rules uh, at the school or at home we should also follow all these rules of the road in order to be safe from any kinds of accidents okay like now this is like i've shown before this is a traffic light okay this is traffic policeman and you see these two boys uh, crossing the road you see this black and white stripe on the road okay right this is called a zebra crossing okay this is a zebra crossing whenever you are crossing the road you should always walk we should always cross the road walking on on the zebra crossing now again red light red light means stop yellow means wait and green means go okay so i hope that all of you are clear with all this and hope that you will follow all these rules and always remember that these rules all these rules of the road are made for our own safety okay if you follow all these rules we will be safe it is meant for our own safety so we must follow all the rules of the road to avoid any kinds of accidents and to be safe okay and i really hope that you always follow all the rules all right thank you